Now, starting the previous lectures, I'm speaking about the impressions, okay? Of course, I finished the anatomical landmarks of mandible and maxilla, and I'm starting speaking about the tray impressions, type of impressions, you have a primary, you have secondary, or final impressions. And the last slides that I'm speaking about is the custom tray. The custom tray, if you see now in your slides, it's you fabricated it, you make it. And what is the benefit from you make it in a state of ready-made? This is the question. The ready-made, almost, this tray is going or bring to you by uh, not specific for these patients. What I mean, the space, if you remember, I'm speaking about the space between the tray and the soft tissue or the hard tissue that you needed to register. it. From this point of view, I can say this tray is specific for this person. So you fabricate it, you controlling the thickness of material between the tray and the what? And the soft tissues. From this reason, you, you be, you, the final results of your cast is more accurate than the primary one. And the cast mm -hmm. that you get it from your this tray, you will get the final cast that you fabricated, the final denture of your patients. Okay, from this point of view, the individual make for each mouth, rigid and stable should be the properties of material. Adequate relief, you should be, you have relief. No have a trauma for the frenum, for example, hard tissue, extensions of the bones, should be easy to insert and remove. If you have any problem in this tray, you will lose the details in this area. The border are under extends from the functional borders of the, what, the prosthesis or the final prosthesis. What is the meaning of it? If I take the measurements of this final tray, I should be make it little bit under than the flange of the or the sulcus of the patients to allow the material to enter in this area and registered the sulcus or the depth of the sulcus of entire sulcus until the end of the tray. The tray and the handle should be fabricated in the way that you not interfere with the functions of the uh, tray. Final impressions. Now, what is the objective of final impressions? Okay, let's go to see what is the objective of these things. The objective, to obtain and the impression from which the retention of the denture base can be constructed. Okay, so this is tray, you should be, this is the final impression material, should be inaccurate that to reach the denture in good retention and stability. This, if you have a problem in this final impressions, you will destroy your denture in final. If you have not registered all anatomical landmarks, you will destroy your dentures, no, you no get any, any retentions of this. The function of impression material is to make a negative copy which record the dimensions of the oral tissue and their relationships. Of course, why I make the impressions totally? Because I need to register the negative copy of the patient. Now, if you have a good details, I have good dentures. If you cancel some of the details, you will destroy your dentures now these details not available in your dentures, you lost the retention and the stability. So the accuracy of this material, it's important for you because the final cast should be an accurate way to construct it of the final denture base. If I go to see the requirement of the impression material must be in a semi-liquid material. So why it's not on the liquid way, why it's not hard to material. 
the semi-liquid material, this is give you two options. Give you to allow this material to flow between all the anatomical landmarks. This is the first. You should be, if you flow too much, will be go away without registration, anything. If you now trying to use in, in a preclinic, the impression, for example, the alginate, I think you have it. You can easily, if you put the material in a flow way, you're not mix it in good way, directly when you put it on the cast, is a flow away, go away, and no registration of any anatomical landmarks. If it's too hard, this material no have ability to enter to undercuts or, for example, the rugi area cannot be registered if the hard material, you not go to every details of the soft tissues. So the semi-liquid material give you a good flow, a good adapted, okay, around all the structure that you interest to record. It would be, it must be said, and the hard in a solids that are rigid enough to be removed from the mouth without any deformed or destroyed. Of course, this material should be in good way, become hard, no dimension change, no fractures, no any deformed. Any another way you should be repeated. Copy detail, accuracy, of course, because it's have, should be have a good registrations of your soft tissues and the hard tissues of the details. Otherwise, I'm not use it. I use the primary in the primary impression in a state of final. Dimensional stability after removing from the mouth. Look, some of the material, now inshallah, I will explain to you in the details, have the ability to absorb the humidity from the outside, from the room temperatures, or maybe dry. For example, now a tray, if you take the impression from the patients, and then you will leave it outside of the patient, and you forget it in your clinic, and next day you come to this tray, you see it's dry because the water go out and become a shrinkage of this material and now all the detail that destroyed. Not, you cannot construct the final denture on this tray or maybe if you put it in this like the weather now in the winter, now you have humidity too much inside, it's absorbed and it's swollen, it's become large and you cancel all the details that you have. So some of the material not affected by the humidity or the dryness or the heat of the temperature, I mean the temperature of room temperature, I mean. So from this point, the accuracy of the material on the final, or when I select the final impression, should be I selected on the way that not affected on me or the room temperatures. The alginate that use it now, for example, it's affected by humidity and the dryness. You should be directly take it to your lab and put it a pouring with the stone to not forget or to not get any dimensional change of this tray. The appropriate working time should be have a working time good. If your material is set hard set fast, you cannot until you you mix it, you cannot carry out to the patient's mouth without any, uh, you have no have times, for example. If, for example, if you now mix it, and then you go to the patients, and to allow the patient to enter, or speak with the patient to enter his mouth or her mouth, directly the material set. This does not give you a good working time. Or maybe delay too much. You insert it in the patients and waiting too much. This is the two you should be, when you select the material, select it in good way. Appropriate time for hardening in the mouth that I said, biocompatibility, aesthetics, odors, some material is bad odor, okay, can be for, now it's okay, it's all the material is covered these problems, and by the way, this is يعني, easily now to select a good material for aesthetics is not big deals, but for the odor and the taste is important because the patient may be having a gagging reflex. Uh, chemical compatible with the material that using to pour a cast. Look, this is important points. Some of the material, it's affected, it's affected by the outside, that I said. For example, when you stay, for using the stones, 
for example, and putting this to the material of the, put it on this in the, on your impressions, some type of impressions absorb the water, absorb the water that available on the, what, on the stone, you see? And now the dimension change, the two have dimension change between the cast and the tray. Okay, so from this point of view, you should be have a chemical compatibility between the material that use it for the impressions and for the what they used for the pouring the final cast. From this point, I'm not affecting anything. Another point, sometimes the dimension change of the tray is not affected, but when you absorb the water from the impressions, the surface texture. You know what is meaning texture? Texture is a surface smoothing of the cast, of the final impression. He's become rough. Rough because it's dry, because the material of your impression absorbed the water from it. So the surface that touching to your impression now become rough. Look, how is it? So the requirement of material should be one of the important point of your success of your uh, final results. The impression material for complete denture, you have uh, two types. You have a primary, you have secondary or the final. The primary impression compound, alginate. Impression compound, the previous uh, lecture I show you, the adaptation, when you see the adaptation of a tray, uh, the mixings or not mixing on the softening of this material and how we insert it in the patient mouth to get the primary uh, cast. Look, the alginates also, and I will give you classification of these materials too. The alginate also, it's must use material nowadays because it's cheap and uh, the material is good registrations of the primary impressions. Uh, secondary impression, you have many, many types. You have rubber base, zinc oxide, eugenol, you have a plaster of Paris, you have many. Now each material, I will explain it in good way, okay? And then I will give you a good uh, presentation or a good uh, properties of each material, advantage and disadvantage of each one. The primary material that use it, you know the cast, now I return back from the first steps. The tray that you have it, you have different spaces between the tray and the soft tissue or the hard tissue that need to register. it. By this way, the material no have ability to enter by its for, by itself to pushing the soft tissue and registered everything. Good. By your constructing of the final tray or the final customer tray that you do it, this is the space now that you make it. You make it on the primary cast that you have a primary details. Okay, not finally. <coughs> Sorry. So now. If you see this picture of the final tray or customer tray, you now have too much space. It's about maybe one millim for all the tissues, the hard and the soft tissues that you needed to register. It. So now the material that use it on the final have another chemical and physical properties differ from the primary impressions of primary material, I mean. So now the material that now I explained to you inshallah, in details, each material, have the flowability is higher than the primary, okay? You have more accurate registrations. So for this reason, now the tray that you take it, you can press on the material that you have it. Now the material, it's good to enter all details because no have a space between the tray and the soft tissue or the hard tissue too much. Now you have different material of a primary and secondary, okay? The impression compound, the alginates, you have secondary, you have rubber base, zinc oxide, eugenol, and the plaster of Paris. Uh, Insha'Allah, yani, I will try between two or three uh, lectures. I try maybe, I try to get acceptance from university to make one, for example, review of the all the lecture before, uh, and you attend on the, uh, university. By this way, maybe make refresh of the information. Anyone have a problems? Maybe before the examinations, okay? But because the Ministry of Higher Education, you know, sometimes you have some limitations. 
So uh, the direct contact between us may be clear some or you can finding some answer of your equations. Now, if I go to see the classifications of the material, I can classify by different way, by applications of mechanical properties, by settings and mechanisms. Look to see, you have, you have by applications, you have elastics, you have non-elastics material. You have a reversible, you have a reversible according to the chemical and the temperature change. Look, if I go to according to the chemical, okay, by the settings way, I can see the elastics and non-elastics way. I have a chemical reaction, irreversible. What is meaning irreversible? It's the material cannot be used again, okay? So you have some material, I can use it again? Yes. The impression compound, as they said, explained before, I can put it on the hot water, then I take it, use it in the patients, then I sterilized, then I put it in the hot water, I use it for another patients. Okay, I can make it by hot, cold. Hot, cold, I can change. The This is the meaning of reversible. The components, the impression compounds, and the wax, that's two material that use it. According, this is non, <coughs> according to using, and you have agar and hydrocolloids also. Each material, inshallah, I will explain in details for you. According to the irreversible, you have a plaster of Paris, zinc oxide, genol. This is non elastic material. You have alginates and hydrocolloids, elastomers. It is uh, reversible. What is meaning? This is you can uh, elastics and not elastics that use it, yani you have, if you have undercuts in the tissue, okay, the elastic one can be go out without deformations. The, the non-elastics should be not use it if the patient have undercut. What is meaning undercut? You have a bone extensions, the occlusal view of the, of the arch or the residual ridge is higher in the thickness than if you go down to the sulcus or you have extensions of the bones, buccally, palatally, according to maybe have extractions, maybe before you extracted and removing some bones, or you have a bone extension due to synd syndromes or disease, okay? So during the insertion of the material, the material go to flow to these undercuts, but during the removing of the tray, the material is ticked on this undercut. If the material no have ability to be expand and go away and return back to the original shapes, this is the material is it's non elastic material. The elastic material I can use it in the undercuts. I can put it in the undercuts. I can remove it, expand and then it closed by this way, return back to the original uh, case. So I can according to the case. I can use it different these materials. So you have reversibles, you have a reversible, you have an in elastics, you have elastics material. If I go to see this uh, diagram of impression material, you have elastics, you have non-elastics, you have chemical reversible. This is another way. You have different material according to the temperatures. Okay, reversible that I say it's for you. The digital material is chemical reactions, maybe more clear this diagram than a classification or the slide that before, or that according to the temperature change, that use it according to the material of the um, pressure compounds. Okay, the, go to the first material, it's the uh, impression plasters. If I see the impression plaster now, is using to recording the final impression for complete edentulous case. This is the impression material. The impression plaster is similar in the compositions to the dental plaster that used to construct the models and the dyes. The material is used at the high water powder ratio, approximately zero to 60 than the normal use or model of plasters. So I will explain each point alone. The impression used for recording the final impression, this is first, it's okay. The impression is similar to the composition of dental plaster. 
you know the impression of dental plasters look the impression of dental plasters or the dental plaster that using some time to pour or using to use now i think you have models this model if you use it for just to see you can using a dental plasters gypsum normally on the uh, way that used on the uh, the pouring of these casts because these casts no need too much force, okay? It's just for seeing this material. It's not for the using or constructing something hard, okay? You can use dental plaster in a state of a stone. So, but the ratio of using this material now during the mixing is different than the material that using for pouring of dental plasters. This ratio. Why is different? Because here, the thickening of the material that I know needed to adjust it, the final shape of me, okay, is different than I use it for pouring of the cast. So here, the difference between the mixing ratios. The fluid mixing is required to enable the fine details to be recorded in the impression and to give you the material in myostatics, mycostatics properties. Mycostatics properties, inshallah, I will explain to you. This is one of the techniques that used for impression taking. This is meaning that it's open mouth technique, normal that you take now in the patient mouth. During the patient open the mouth and you press on the material, press on the tray to take the impression. Because you have another way, inshallah, I will explain to you. Uh, the patient press on the tray instead of you press. So during this normal mucostatics techniques, uh, you can use it by UI during the insertions of these materials. Freshly mixed plaster is two flu uh, uh, fluids to be using and the sticks impressions as trays. And is normally used in a special tray constructed using one to 1.5 millimeters in a space. Look to the space. Now the space is now you decided through the final a tray or custom tray that you did it on the primary cast. And now the space is ready for you to be loaded with the impression material. Before casting, the plaster model and the plaster impression, the impressions must be coated with the separating agents. I am taking the impression from patient mouth, then I put some separating layers. Either I use a subnormal your uh, that use it, or I have another um, uh, separating medium. It's used, usually used on the lab. I can coat it to not stick on it the material that I pour on a stone on it to be a separating medium. It's too thin layer, too thin layer, just to add a separating between the impression, okay, and the material of usings of the uh, pouring of the final cast. The mixing impression material is initially very fluid and they're capable to recording the tissues and uncompressed states. Why uncompressed? In, uncompressed because you use your technique to impress, to, to using the pressures. So some area, if you are nearby too much, you have too much pressure on it. You have another area, it's away from you, or for example, it's not away, I mean in between one, to 1.5 the space. So some of details may be 0 0.5 near to that special tray. Some of the material is about maybe one millim or 1.5, it's away. By this way, can be registered all these details because you make the space between the customer tray and what, and the patient mouth. So now the space is controlled by you, okay? In addition, the hemohydrate uh, uh, particles are capable of absorbing the moisture from the surfaces of oral tissues, allowing very intimate contact between the impression material and the tissues. Look, this is like attracting methods. This is like the have the ability to absorb the water and the humidity that available on the soft tissue. So what now? the material of your impression go directly to the area that you have some moisture. Good. So when you go by this way, can be give you good details according to the chemical 
composition or the chemical properties of this material. Look, some material, normally we speaking about the hydrophobic and uh, hydrofluoric. The high, the, the some material is, uh, is going away from water. This is meaning. And some of this material is attracted by water. This is attracted by water. He can become to coming to the soft tissue that you have a humidity absorbing these particles. And by this way, he's good the material to flow and go to give you a good intimate contacts between the impression material and the tissues. The flowabilities of these materials, okay, they combine with the ability to removing the moisture from the tissues and minimum dimensional change on the settings. The water absorbing nat naturally uh, of this material often causes a patient to be complained about very dry sensations after having these impressions records. Because you have absorbing of the water, this is you can, for example, after the patient when finishing the tray or the impressions, I mean, you feel I have a problem on the dryness of the mouth. So you can give him some uh, uh, water after you finishing because if you, or you if you have like these problems, do not afraid because maybe have like uh, uh, burning sensations. I mean, burning sensation. This infectant of the plaster impression can be achieved with uh, uh, to uh, about one ten minutes uh, soaking on the sodium hypochlorite solutions, and this material therefore is not suitable for use in any undercut situations. So for undercut situation, so what's related to? If I return back to the diagram, I see it is not non-elastic material. So by this way, the undercuts, I'm not, I cannot use by undercuts, okay? You can making a, a sterilization or disinfectant by 10 minutes of uh, soaking inside the sodium hypochlorite solutions. Uh, maybe take care about the patient, maybe have some burning sensations after you take impressions because the dryness, because this ability of material to absorbing of the waters. And if I bring to you, for example, the question in the examinations, which material is using, for example, the patient have undercut. What's the material that you select, for example, to take it? You have another material now, I explained about it, okay? And um, some of material not use it, in the have undercut or some material you can use it if you have uh, undercut elastics material I mean now the impression wax that used now okay are rarely used to recording a complete denture but are normally used to correct the small imperfections in uh, other impressions particularly those of zinc oxide eugenol types look the impression wax nowadays is not used too much okay because you have uh, another material, another options is better than these materials. But I can use it to recording some things is difficult away from me. Inshallah, I will be take some things about the video uh, uh, about the cliff clip and pellet. It's the area of the missing part in the palatal area have too much away from your impressions. By this way, I can use the wax to it. some of these details related to these problems. And nowadays, it's not too, yeah, too little to use it, and can use it particularly with this zonc oxide eugenol type. There are thermoplastics material. Thermoplastic, what's meaning? Is changing by the temperature, okay? Change by temperature by hot and colds. Material which is the flow, uh, at the mouth temperature and relatively soft even at the room temperature. For this reason, it's temp it's uh, sensitive to the temperature. When you become sensitive to the uh, temperature, you cannot use it because maybe on the head hot water uh, weather, during the impression you take it by the patient mouth and take it out, especially in the summertime, maybe you will be destroy your work because it's uh, melted or changed during this work. They are applied with a brush in small quantities to the filling the area of impression in which the insufficient material has been used or we can by air blow or uh, grease by causing uh, any defects. Look, if you have any problems during the impressions, you can cover it by the wax as using as additional material. But as a final impressions can before use it, but you should be know it, okay? 
uh, nowadays not use it too much. The zinc oxide eugenol, okay, eugenol impression paste. This is too much used nowadays. This material, it's uh, used it now in uh, two paste. If you see it now, okay, this material are normally used to recording a final impression of a dentulous arch. These material are normally supply as a two paste, which are mixed together on a paper pad or a glass slab. Look, this material coming by you or coming to you by two pastes, okay? This is during the mixings. I using the pads and either the glass or special uh, papers coming with this material because this material is a high sticky material and it's difficult to clean it or use it on the rough surfaces during the mixings. So you should be take care during the mixing of this material because you have a too much high uh, ability to stick on it. The zinc oxide paste, typically being a white, and the eugenol paste are reddish brown color. You have two color of the paste. One it's uh, almost is a white, mm -hmm. and another is a, a reddish mm -hmm. in color is all money. Is normally it's uh, like the brown on the color. And if you see the pictures now during the mixings, how is it? Okay and the color of it, of the final, between the brown and the white. The uh, enable enough of mixing to be achieved is as indicated by homogeneous color, free from any of the uh, strict or the mixing material, in, a, in mixing material. Look, sometimes, if during the mixings, I am not making homogeneous colors, what I see, I see some material is too much brown and another is too much white, okay? I'm not mixing in good way. So the settings now of this material have different in different areas. Some of them in settings in good way. Some, another is still not settings. Another is what? Sting harder or more faster than the others. By this way, you should be take care during the mixings. You don't have any uh, uh, have problems in the mixings, no have any lines or the uh, colors is not mixing, homogeneous colors to get a final settings in good way. The paste are normally uh, dispensed from the toothpaste-like tubes and are mixed in equal volume. Look, you have another way. Look, the toothpaste, toothpaste likes the tubes that you're coming to like the toothpaste but it's bigger, of course, and you have a holder key in behind. I mean, from the end of the tube, okay, you can rolling it to be easy to pushing the material out of these tubes. This is what you mean, okay? The paste are normally spent from the toothpaste-like tubes and are mixed in equal volume. The uh, proportional to that achieved simply by experience of course, an equal length of each paste. Except, look, the uh, the this pad that is coming to you, you have uh, details of the extensions. How much tube you should be put? How material you should be put? This length of the catalyst. This is for the base. This is for catalyst, for example. This is for the base. So you have two mixing tubes. And each one have a different volume or length to be compensating according to the material, of course, and the company. The company give you the details of how much the material should be mixed. Because if you give a catalyst more, you make a hardening of material faster. Yani fasting, yani low working or short working time. Working time. And the setting is harder, faster. So the next, if you put the uh, base more, the setting will be delayed the long working way time. So according to the patient, maybe you control or the, according to the weather that you need because the temperature also affecting the setting time. Inshallah, we'll take it in dental material, these informations. 
And uh, during this, if you say patients have a gagging reflex, for example, or the patient cannot be stable too much with the impression, I can put a catalyst more, okay? So during these mixings, way, I can see or I can controlling the working time, okay? Uh, the impression are normally, uh, the length of the bat, the impression is normally recorded in a closed fit special tray constructed on your modules obtained from primary impression. The defect sometime arising on the surfaces of impression, but this can be corrected or using the impression wax. Okay, look, what is the defect that you expected you have on this uh, impression or during the impressions? The space, the porous, okay? The porous, what meaning the porous is that the spacings or the porous that of the air bubbles that become inside the mixings. Because this material is little bit sticked material, and if the patient have a sticky saliva to not allow this sticky saliva to flow this material and removing this saliva away. By this way, you have some area like the spaces on your tray. During removing, I see some spaces. So how can I correct it? By the wax, impression wax, I put melt some wax to cover on the area that I need it, okay, to cover these bubbles areas. But of course, if I'm not getting these things or get it a smoothly final impression, it's better to do the put or add a wax because this wax is not accurate on the way that I need it because maybe you put or maybe you put up more than this arms. By this way, you should be take care during the impression and select the patients. For example, if you have a thick saliva due to systemic disease, because the patient coming to you have systemic disease. Okay, sometimes many of the patient nowadays, if you come in for final denture or a complete denture, I mean, have some diseases, diabetics, or for example, another blood, or uh, another syndromes or uh, diseases that you have. It. This dry, this is maybe causing dry mouth, maybe causing a thick saliva. This is due to the problem on that. So you can, for example, uh, ask the patients to using, for example, a lemons or some material to be uh, activated salivary glands to be put more a saliva or make the flowability of the saliva is more. By this way, by this way, I can control the thickening of the saliva. In in, in majority of the patient, it's easy to take these impressions, but uh, take care about the final point of this material. It's a rigid material, so I cannot use it for the undercut patients. Okay, with the undercut patients, I cannot use it, so I use it with the patient that no have undercuts. And one of you may be asked how I ask or I check the undercuts, I check it with the primary cast. The cast, if I have a problem or they have undercuts or from the intraoral examinations, I can check the undercuts of the oral cavity according to the first visitings of the patients. I can check everything intraorally. Okay, go to the next. Elastomeric material, it's one of the must use this material and you have another use it of this material, use it for a bridge, crown a bridge, for implant, partial denture, complete denture, indirect aesthetic restorations, for many, many, many. Nowadays, the elastomer material, it's uh, too much used. Uh, now, I think in the clinic also you have, uh, or the fourth grade is used, fourth grade is used now, is a name, is a heavy body, light body, heavy body, light body. This is one of the type of elastomers material, the silicon type rubber base. You have A and B, many C types. You have many types. You should be took it by the dental material. Okay, you have any problem until now?